Hello everybody, my name is Oteno, also known as Soto Entertainments, and today we're finally doing the last minutes with a few days left Witch Queen prep video. It's not going to be long, just like how the raid one, which is going to be recorded next, won't be as long either. So basically, the short answer is... To make sure you have done the final mission for Season of the Lost. The other one is to make sure you have all the materials you can and you're capped on, you know, masterworking materials and all that and all your glimmer and everything and having excess si uh, excess ships to sell for other glimmer. Uh, and of course, having bounties uh, that you feel like saving or all the bounties that you wanted to save. Uh, having certain weapons, having a weapon of each type, um, for each category, stuff like that. Me personally, I'm saving this, and then, um, I'm gonna be doing my Iron Banner bounties actually after I'm done recording these two videos, and, uh, doing, doing that, and saving those, that way I can turn them in when Witch Queen rolls around. Um, another thing people were doing was saving Dares of Eternity boxes. But because of the announcement about the legendary edition the legendary version of the campaign being giving us infusion gear for at fifteen twenty, um, we don't have to prepare the armor like that. Um, but bounties are still good if you feel like doing it purely because XP and it gets you further along in the in the season pass. So you can get your relic um, well, your, your artifacts, or artifact mods, easier. Um, but I don't really care about that. For those that are trying to push for worlds first, we'll, uh, be going super hardcore for that, so they can have the best mods for any given situation. Um, but me and my group, we're not gonna go super hard, uh, super hardcore. I'm still going to grind how I want, and I'm going to push as hard as I can. Without bounty grinding, because that's what I did the past few times, and I did, and I was in an okay level for the raid. I was actually either at the appropriate level or a little bit over. Um, but that doesn't matter because contest anyway. But uh, anyway, um, so you don't need that. But essentially, that that's the bottom line. You basically just need, if you really want to be hardcore, and you grab all the bounties that aren't going away. All the bounties that aren't going away. So basically, you don't grab Gambit bounties or Banshee bounties at all. Because they're changing in some way. Um, everything else that you used to grab for bounties, feel free to do so. That's not changing. Um, make sure you have you know upgrade modules specifically. If you have master working materials, that works too. If you've been grinding grandmasters or master raids, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that, that's essentially it for Witch Queen prep. And I might as well just make this the same video, why not? Uh, because at this point the video is not even that long. Um, for raid prep, what I'm personally going to do is, well, me, Neagle9, and RAR, or RAR's Bad Ideas, um, are going to be doing the legendary version of the campaign on day one. Uh, and then we'll have our 1520 gear. And then after that, it's off to the races, right? We'll have Season of the Risen stuff to do, and all that grinding. Um, I'll turn in all my bounties. Uh, oh, the bounties that I'm saving. Which are what I showed you. This one and then Iron Banner and then Crucible Threader. Um, and then I am just doing Strike stuff, Gambit stuff, Crucible stuff. Uh, probably the same method that has always been done where after you can't go any higher you start doing uh, Glory. And you just go until at least maybe Fabled or so um 
I'll be doing Nightfall stuff. Uh, shoot, anything. Y you basically also bottom line is uh you don't want to be. I've said this before in the preliminary raid prep video that I made that one day. Um, basically bottom line is after you reach soft cap or for a lot of us 1520 then you start doing your powerful gear sources anything that says powerful gear you start out at tier one you go to tier two after tier two you go after you do all your tier ones then you go to your tier twos after you after you do your tier twos you go to your tier threes after the tier threes or after you reach 1530 or 1550 not 1530 my bad 1550 then you do your pinnacles but don't touch your pinnacles until you reach 1550 or at least until you have no other sources like if there are pinnacle sources available save those for last don't don't just grab powerfuls and pinnacles right away don't grab the highest stuff right away you grab the smaller stuff first clear out the smaller stuff and then save your higher stuff for the big jumps you know for those big fill-ins and then if you're if you have three characters and you're really hardcore prepping for the raid um what you do is you do everything on your main character you know you get to 15 20 on your main character you do all the stuff and everything that you can on your main character and then you switch to let's say for example for me it would be my hunter uh, so, well, they're all going to be on the same level playing field, so it doesn't matter. But I'll switch to my hunter, put all my high-level weapons on my hunter, go through everything again, and get all that, get high-level gear and all that on my hunter, and then transfer even the, the higher weapons to my titan. Because I have a titan as well. And do the whole thing on my titan. And then the week of the raid. So th this is still week one. This is all week one. You know when when witch queen drops and we have that whole week um the week of the raid you start on, on that tuesday you start on the last character you finished you go from in my case you go from your titan or uh, my titan to my hunter and then finish it off with my warlock because you want your main class to be your highest for the for the week of the raid because if you don't and let's say a class you never use is your highest, well then you're screwed. So the first week, launch week, you start out with your strongest and then move down the line. And then for, or no, okay, for so for those that don't have a main and for those that are just playing a role for their raid group, let's say you're a bubble titan. You're running bubble, right? Or um, whatever the new barricade thing is, right? You would start out on your, you would start out on whatever one you're running with the raid first, and then you move down the line as you as the week ends. And then the week of the raid, you start with the one you ended with, and then you go to the second one, and then you end your week before the raid. You, you end your week with the one you're bringing into the raid. That way, on raid day, raid morning, you'll already be at your strongest for your for the one for your class that you're bringing into the raid. Then you'll be fine. So yeah, that is how I'm going to be doing it. Except I'm not going to do legendary campaign on my hunter and titan, but I will be doing everything else on my hunter and titan. I'll still be I'll do um normal campaign on my hunter and titan but yeah i'm gonna give the biggest jump to my uh, war uh warlock and then go hunter and then titan for normal and then still do everything else and then the week of the raid starting out with titan to do all the weekly reset stuff and then hunter weekly reset stuff and then warlock for last all right that is it now I have to go do Iron Banner because I decided to wait until now. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. 
and for more for, for more destiny content and i will catch you guys next week on witch queen launch where we get to see all the fun and excitements and feel free to be here on my twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash oteno oh, that's o-t-e-n-o so you can see me neagle nine and rar's bad ideas also known as sable hawthorne struggle bus through the witch queen witch queen legendary campaign all right thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys later bye